and good day and welcome to the Slice Bread Podcast. We give you a daily slice of life. I am your host, Gary. And in today's episode, we have on the panel, Lenny. Hello, good boy. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We got Chris. I'm Chris and I love Captain Crunch. <laughs> we got the man that makes us sound slick like butter on toast, the sound guy. Oh, yeah. And last, and certainly not least, Bob. Not the builder. We don't build things up. We break them down. And today we're gonna break down and break bread today's episode. Oi right, boys, if there's one thing that we at the Slice Bread Podcast know is that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But breakfast comes in many forms, shapes, and sizes. Some people like the cereal, others like full-on bangers and mash, and some just do with a cup of coffee or tea. Either way, that belly should be getting some kind of nutrients after a night's rest. Today, we're talking all things breakfast. With that in mind, let's actually break bread. (laughs) So first things first. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Talk to me, Chris Cuts, with a, with a, with a side of jam. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have Captain Crunch this morning. <laughs> oh, so you don't like it? Uh, Lies <laughs> and propaganda. Like <laughs> <laughs> but no, just the regular, you know, the cereal. That's all I had. Um, I prefer a brand cereal. Mm-hmm. You know, keep things tight mm-hmm. in those areas. In the budget. <laughs> in the budget, in the bowels, in who knows? Areas. <laughs> lovely, lovely. So yeah, that's it. What are you, cornflakes guy? What is it? Uh, Rice Krispies? All brand flakes. All brand flakes. No, that's go. good. That's yes. good. Iron fiber. Iron fiber, yes. Iron fiber, yes. Do you add raisins to it? No, but I've added raisins to, to breakfast before, to uh, mm. wheat picks. What yeah. about bananas? Because banana, excellent potassium Ooh, to go with lovely. that all brand flakes. So I'm just saying. I've done yeah. that. I add a bit of peanut butter as well with protein. Mm. Oh, really? Oh. oh, wow. I never tried that. Peanut butter. Mm-mm-mm. Guys, I had a full house breakfast. Oh, wow. Eggs, Ooh. chips, bangers, Fatty. and toast. And in the famous line of Gary, it was nice. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. No bacon. Yes. Huh? No oh, bacon. Yes, there was bacon. Yeah. As well. There was bacon as well, man. And it was a lovely filling breakfast. You know, you got to start your day off, especially when you was payday. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, so a person can actually afford that breakfast. Owe it to yourself. <laughs> Do you understand? I'm saying owe it to yourself. So yeah, it was a lovely breakfast. And Bob, what did you have this morning? Usually, I'd go for the breakfast of champions, that jungle oats, Ooh. you know, get that oats going, get that mm. energy flowing, and then you go mow into the toilet. But that's another story. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's another story. Because technically, what I had for today, this morning, I also went franchise. I went to KFC. Oh, I had a nice uh, breakfast wrap. Mm. It was nice with a cappuccino. Mm-hmm. Speaking of your jungle oats, Bob's, Bob, do you add the cinnamon stick? Nah, in the pot no, 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 or no, no, butter. No. What I do is I get. You gotta use that salt, man. That salt just mixes it all together. Yes, right? salt. Yes, 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 yes. And then just throw in my milk, my bro. And then there we go. Good I'm good go. with it. I don't need the excess. I don't need to throw in. It has everything. It's jungle oats, bro. <laughs> it's the breakfast of a champion. <laughs> champion. <laughs> and Lily, what did you have? Oh, I also had myself a nice full-on breakfast. Lovely. Eggs, bacon, uh, toast. And oh, uh, fried tomato, which mm. is really great. And then there was a side of chips. I don't know how chips became part of a breakfast, but it it's works. filling. It's the filling yeah. part. It's a it. potato factor, I think, True. man. What's yeah. that? You some places do hash browns or like the yes. oh, hash yes, browns. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. yeah. I could never do a hash brown. Ah, it is nice. No. It's, a, it's an acquired taste, but once it, you acquire it, you acquire it. <laughs> it's weird when you bite into it. Yeah. It's like, what's going on here? Is, what is this? So guys want to know, why is that... Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Mr. Bob, do you, why do you feel like breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Because if it's high in fiber, you know, you get your whole tummy running. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because you need to get rid of the toxins that you slipped through last night. So you need some jump kick, some jump starter, whether get it's it coffee, out. whether it is uh, that all brand flakes, whether it's that jungle loads, whether it's that eggs. I don't know, maybe eggs do that thing for you guys, mm. the bread. Mm-mm. But once that goes through your system and you mm. get rid of everything of last night, we're good to go. Then your day can start. Then you empty. You feel happier. You bounce in a bit. You know, it's the best meal of the day. You can't go wrong. There's some digits less on the on the um, on the scale. Of course, of yeah. course. <laughs> 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 and Mr. Lenny, what do you feel? Um, I, it's important because prior to having breakfast, you're sleeping for what 
eight hours or something. Okay, not everyone's sleeping for eight hours. But <laughs> According to the dreams episode. T- <laughs> t- time between your first meal of the day and your last meal of the other day, it's something like eight to ten hours maybe. I think there's studies that say you shouldn't be eating after eight, eight o'clock uh, at night or something. But say you're sleeping for, for eight hours and your last meal is between eight to ten hours. Your next meal is breakfast and that's why it's important because you need to make up for that sleep, which is almost like fasting, mm-hmm. you know? You need something, some kind of nutrients to then carry you through um, the, the next day. And that's why I think it's important because you need to eat something after that long fast which you're sleeping. But who even said it was the most important meal? Like, it's like... Oh, it is lies. Doctors. It's just propaganda. You reckon? <laughs> oh, absolutely. No, but because we learned that in school already, though. Mm. Yeah. yeah. No, but I guess you remember what it's like going to school. And I mean, I guess they, they paint a picture that maybe not able to, to function to fully function without yeah. having something in your stomach, especially if your last meal was 10 hours ago and you're sitting there with a hungry stomach and now you need to learn. But do you remember though in life orientation, we learned that you must eat like a king in the morning then like yeah. a prince in the afternoon and like a beggar, like you must Whoa. make yeah. it smaller. <laughs> That's an interesting concept. That. Yeah. Mm. The rations must become less and less as the day go on. I would argue the fact that um, your brain or at least you get tired throughout the day. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're most energetic, is most likely in the beginning of the day, which is your breakfast. Mm. So maybe that's why they want you to consume it then because then you could break it down mm. your body and get the best out of it. Because if you're tired at the end of the day, you're not going to do anything past that point. You're just yeah. going to relax. I believe um, why breakfast is important. Because you need a, sli- a, a, a slice of bread, baby. Start that day off. Slice of life. No one yes, needs brother. a baby that early in the morning. No, I mean, <laughs> You clearly have never had children. No, I mean... Neither have I. You need a slice of bread, baby. You start that day off, man. That's what you need, man. You've got to start that day off. Need that life. slice of life. Exactly. Yeah. Slice of life on the rye. On the rye. I guess we kind of spoke about what happens if we skip breakfast. Because, you know, we, we kind of divulge in that. But I want to ask you guys, what is your type of week of, like what type of breakfast you guys have in a week are you a cereal man you know do you have like almost like, like no nah, I would say cereal I'm cereal so, um, you, don't, so, you, don't, mm. so you don't want to crack an egg there no maybe? I do love it I do love it on the weekend yes, but I'm yes. saying on my day to day daily basis I'd prefer uh, the oats or maybe even a Milo you know Ooh, get that yeah. chunk of yes, that Milo. you yes, know yes, what I'm talking about yes dude sometimes those stuff hit better in the morning with the milk yes. that's lovely but then on the weekend you know let, let's Let's enjoy, some, a let's enjoy some bacon and eggs, man. You know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Some, some, some. Make you an offer you gone to the field. <laughs> <laughs> but then it's a time factor, isn't it, Gary? I think it is a time factor because in the week, I normally go for like week peaks, you know, some something oh, something quick. Yeah, week yeah. peaks of oats. Even like a little protein shake, you know what I mean? A little shake and bake. No, I'm certain <laughs> the ladies, they enjoy like a fruit salad with yogurt in the morning or um, something very light, man. Because I think with guys, we're looking for something heavier, man. But with the ladies, they need yeah. something, light, something light. Maybe an energy bar or like a biscuit or some rusk. Yogurt. Some Ooh, coffee and tea. Proper South African. They can go to Kauai for that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> During the week, I also prefer cereal. Sometimes I skip breakfast and just would have like two cups of coffee before lunch mm. which i don't think it's it's always the best thing but during the week when i needed to be quick it's definitely cereal like that cocoa pops needs to be in there there we go i like ot's as well Ooh. okay okay you're going classics and now and then i don't know but i crave a fruit loops and i don't even like fruit loops but Serious. now and then i'm feeling fruity <laughs> <laughs> you fruity pebble you oh, fruity no, pebble <laughs> you fruity ass pebble <laughs> um yeah but those are usually the and then also when i when i go coffee then i would go with the with the rusk yeah. But it's got to be the, the muesli rask, you know. Okay, okay. Um, Oma, um, what is it called? Oma's rask. Oh, Oma's, Oma's rask. Oma's rask, yeah. Yeah, yeah, those, those hit. But the, the coffee factor, though, that's a, a huge thing. Because some people just can't do anything before Function, they have that yeah. first cup of coffee in the morning. That's an right? addiction. Technically, yeah. cause oh, yeah, the, the coffee caffeine. beans is probably the most addictive substance on the earth. Serious? Uh, oh, have well. you ever tried to stop taking caffeine for a bit and see the withdrawal symptoms it's, you have? It's crazy. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. So it's actually the most wildly used drug in the world is the coffee bean. And it's legal. <laughs> and it's legal. <laughs> so technically, that, um, they've been conditioned to believe that they can't function without that first cup of coffee. Yeah. And that just um, comes down to the environment you eat. It's in. a marketing campaign as well. It's an absolute marketing campaign. Yeah. But then again, you also can't argue because there's different levels of coffee. If you're telling me you're drinking Rick coffee for the morning, <laughs> I can't trust you as a human being. <laughs> I don't think of you 
I don't think much of you anymore. And, and Frisco? <laughs> I can handle a Frisco really? over a coffee. And that's not to judge, but it's like, that's not coffee. I don't care what you say that is. You got to throw five teaspoons of it in it just taste. to get some sort of kick. <laughs> so you take the coffee is like the Stuyvesant of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know what yet. the smoke game is. <laughs> you can't say that to me. <laughs> Ch- Chicago's... Chicago, oh, Chicago. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy guys. You know, um, Lenny, you and I, we went for like, we go for breakfast runs. Eh? We, do, we do, we do. We go so, often. So I want to ask you guys, like, do you guys pref- like go to restaurants for your breakfast? I don't do the fancy ones, but I do go for breakfast um, franchises. I like spur. Not a fan of... Wimpy. Wimpy. Uh, okay, you you got me in a rant now. Let's Ooh. do this. <laughs> With Wimpy, I only go to Wimpy for the coffee. That's it. I go to Spur because I get the best price. How can I say? The best meal for its price. Mm. So if they have full hours, I get everything from mushrooms to uh, vos or pork bacon and steak. You get that all by Spur. If I wanted to be fancy, I'd go to Mug and Bean. Mm. That's mm. only because I have money at that point in time. <laughs> there's no other real reason, but we because there's like this... Um, what do you call it? This refill, unlimited, oh, yeah, or yeah. bottomless thing. Yeah. Bottomless. 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 That's yeah. why I go to Muggin. It's like I go to each thing for a different reason. Video man. addiction, you say. Here we go. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> but now that you mention it, Bob, I feel like Wimpy doesn't put in a lot of effort. Eh? Of course yeah. not. But mm. they're the most accessible, especially for yes. long range traveling. If you've yeah. ever seen Wimpy and Pe- people yeah. are just conditioned, yeah, yeah. just conditioned to think, True. oh, Wimpy. Wimpy is the option. Also, if you were on a long trip and you had to stop by a garage and that's the only thing available, yeah. then that's where your connection you to it builds is like, right, you know what? I want the coffee now. Mm. Yeah. Wimpy's always been there for me. Yeah. Kind of a thing, yeah. But then McDonald's actually doesn't have too bad of a breakfast option as a quick thing where you get like an Egg McMuffin with a, the coffee is trash though. It's oh, terrible. Well, yeah, it really a, a is. A dog yeah. doo-doo. No, those are <laughs> But KFC, their cappuccino, top tier, but you know, oh. they don't particularly provide a proper breakfast in a sense. So it's like, you got to play your pros and cons here as mm-hmm. to what works, what doesn't. And Mr. Cuts. You know, Gary, I went with you once to a place called Bootleggers. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> and I had, I had an amazing, I think it was, I can't remember the name, it's Risot something. A risotto. So I think it's risotto, but it, it was just a combination of like egg, potato, bacon, all mashed together. It was pretty mm. nice. Yeah. Mm. So thanks for the recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But I suppose if you go to specific places, you can get... Um, yeah, you'll get something good. Like, if you've ever gone into, like, um, how can I say, the door piece, like, um, northern or... Your, your plaza yeah. bite. You will get a <laughs> massive breakfast at a low price because it's, like, homemade. Yeah. And it's not bread. It, it, it's homemade bread. Yes. The coarsey. That thick, <laughs> thick slices, but Oh, and that butter just melts. You, you must know. And those things, those are very, how can I say, nuanced. If you don't do it, you will never know it. Mm. Yeah. I agree with you, um, Bob, because I also like going to like fancy restaurants for like breakfast. Mm-hmm. I like going to your bootleggers. I like going to the ones here, you know, in the Torpy as well. Full house breakfast. And sometimes I try to experiment on the menu, but it didn't work. I remember I ordered this one breakfast and it looked like a porridge gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it literally looked like a porridge gone wrong. And I ordered one of the worst um, um, coffees even like there was cinnamon but it tasted more like minimum because I don't know what was in that thing I don't know what was in that thing I don't know because my mouth was like the whole time as I was taking a sip <laughs> so yeah and Lynn yourself yeah I like going out as well um, love the full on breakfast but if I go out for breakfast I'd like to take something that I can't necessarily have at home yes so I true. can make myself eggs and bacon at home but sometimes when I go out oh, I'm going to spoil myself I'm going to go with the, with, the, with the flapjacks and the bacon and the Okay. Sit up and, that, yeah. that makes it, at least yeah. there's a logic to that decision. I understand. Mm-hmm. Uh. Do you guys feel that if you actually had breakfast properly every day, you'd save more money in terms of buying food throughout the day? That's an interesting question because I don't know. Because what, what is the culture of lunch? Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, you will feel you... very out if you are around people that are having lunch you know, and you don't have lunch. And it's like... Mm, do I have to just buy something small just mm. so I can fit in by accident? Yeah. But then again, should you have a big on breakfast, right? Mm. Your lunch, then... Then you'll have a smaller lunch. A much man. smaller That's lunch, where my yeah. question also comes from, then you're not going to spend as much exactly. yeah. on lunch. If, if you're at home and you have a big breakfast, maybe you skip lunch. Yeah. Because right? mm. you're still full. But if, again, if, if it's a culture thing, because everyone at the office is doing lunch together, 
Um, you can still have lunch, but you have something smaller. Mm. But also, if you're keeping in fact that I'm not just going to eat because other people are eating, I'm mm. going to eat because I'm hungry. Mm. Yeah. Then maybe you're not hungry and you skip it. Yeah. Right? It's like I, a, I feel like if I did, if, if maybe I invested more in having like a full on breakfast every day, yeah. then, like you say, you might even just skip lunch, you know? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And then have an early dinner. It's so, like, and, 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 and what, is, what is full on? Do you guys remember? Staying at a hotel and having a hotel's breakfast. Yeah, right? the, it's they, they, that's full on. Yeah, they give you the cereal, they give you the the yogurt, with yes. the, the muesli. They yes. can have your eggs, the coffee. Everything is there. That's how I think. That's how it's basically seen with breakfast. Is that like they say? It's the most important meal. Yeah. Go and fill yourself up. Yeah, I think that's the concept around it. Um, so I want to know from you guys. Speaking about your type of breakfasts, I want to know what is your preference, like your, your actual preference, regardless if it, even if you have to go to work and you're in a quick fix, or mm. it's weekend if you want a proper breakfast. What is your preference? Do you prefer the cereal, the quick ones, making your jungle oats, or would you prefer to have like a nice proper like bangers and mash, exactly, <laughs> or omelette or something like in those type of those type of realms. Uh, in an ideal world, I would love I would love to have bacon and eggs every day. <laughs> you know, Clock that arteries. Yeah. <laughs> but obviously, the time factor, maybe the budget factor, because I mean, you got to pay for ba- bacon is not cheap, but it's maybe not very expensive either. But still, so I would love that every day. But now, nah, just give me a nice bowl of cereal. Uh, two boiled eggs, a cup of coffee, and I'm good to go. I would probably, uh, I'll take the eggs and the bacon on uh, with mushroom and yeah. uh, sausage and steak. And I've never had steak for <laughs> breakfast, but I know it's it's like some yeah. rich don't do you, that. You can get yeah, the thin, like a thinly sized very, yeah. very thin, yeah. but it, mm. uh, uh, it hits the spot, bro. It hits the spot. I probably still uh, won't yeah. do it, but. <laughs> So they don't give me hash brown. <laughs> lovely, lovely. I'm just adding on things here now. Bro. <laughs> um, give me some onions. I want some onions. Yeah, you you know, onions. nice brazy brazy. Mm. Lovely, lovely. And a nice cup of coffee. I don't want tea. I don't want cappuccino. Give me a coffee. With milk. <laughs> Lekker. Yeah, don't make that's, me hungry. That's lovely, lovely. Mm. I would go with a cereal that kind of um, basically resembles my life. Snap, crackle. Pop. Pop. <laughs> Give me Rice Krispies because every day when I wake up, I just hear a snap and a crackle and a pop in my body. <laughs> <laughs> just because you're old doesn't make it our problem. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but now I'll go with like the CEO, the quick fix. Because like mm. you look at your budget and your time constraints and making a quick breakfast is always a good thing. Yeah. Even though I love, my, I love me some bacon and eggs, mm. I love me your omelette, I love me that fanciness. I would still go for the quick fix because you're still going to get the same amount of protein, same amount of you know, mm-hmm. nutrients. But it's obviously the time will be less. Mm. And you, Lenny? If I could, like I would do the, the egg thing um, throughout the week. I mean, you can't always do it. And they, I mean, you can prepare things healthier. So you're not necessarily clogging your arteries. I mean, you can go with like a no-carb breakfast where it's just mm. eggs and, and whatever. But cereals aren't always that necessarily that good for you also because there's tons mm. of sugar in it uh-huh. in certain ones. Yo, you guys make me hungry again. For, and I just had breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I just had breakfast. So I want to ask you guys to end this off right now. Do you feel that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? I do. I do. Again, I just think that... I'm not betting you, by the way. Yeah. I do. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the words Kelly was hoping for. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to hear that anytime soon. Um, I do feel like it's the most important just because, you know... Filling your body up after only eating the previous day. Yeah, boy. Mm-hmm. And cuts. Based on everything we've said, uh, it seems like it, it can be more important and to your benefit if you do breakfast properly. So, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Really enough, I'm not gonna, I'm going to say no. Because I feel like you don't really need breakfast to start your day off, even though, mm. no, sliced bread always goes, <laughs> go, he eats the spot. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I don't feel so because. You just need that coffee, man. You just need a bit of that, that caffeine addiction. But that addiction, you, know, you know, you can get that a bit of an addiction of that coffee in your, in your system just to mm-hmm. start your day off. But yes, breakfast, I would say it's more of a luxury than actually you need to start your day off. So yeah. And let's leave you for last, Bob. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say dinner is the most important. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, that's when you eat like a peasant at dinner. Like, no you worries. know why? Because <laughs> what you eat at dinner will have to keep you all the way till you wake up the next day. Mm-hmm. And therefore, it's the most important. Otherwise, mm. you'll die in your sleep, but we don't want that. <laughs> oh, so, therefore, dinner is the most important. Wait, 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 dog day! With me. All right. You're going to die of hunger in your <laughs> sleep. <laughs> 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 hey, wait, 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 wait
<laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, thank you guys for this lovely episode. And yeah, to all our listeners, put a comment there about what type of breakfast you guys enjoy in the morning. And please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the Slice Bread Podcast. And we'll see you next time.